Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive. So this is a short and sharp video just to show you a fun little feature we've added to a dashboard we've got for an event coming up. And it's a countdown timer for the number of days until that event takes place. Thought just to do a short video to show you, again, like all the tips and tricks and other more complicated things we like to do um, and share with people. So I'm gonna dive straight in to the dashboard and show you what this is all about. So this is on the Productive website. Um, you can see on here, we've got the run from 2023, we've did 2024, and this is what we call our big adventure. Um, so this will be here after the event's taken place, which is happening pretty soon. And what we've done is we've added to the dashboard a little countdown time to say how many days to go. Now this is very easy to do, and I thought it'd just be a bit of fun to show how I've done it. So I'm now coming off the website into the actual dashboard, and all this is on the dashboard is a simple metric and it's got the metric is here and it's dashboard countdown coming from a sheet called, well that dashboard countdown. So let's cancel that and go to the sheet itself. And in the sheet, I've got something very simple, which is today's date, the event date, um, and then the countdown 13 days until the event. Now, actually I've changed the date manually and what I've got created on this is a little automation so that if I go into the automation, it just records the date. And every day at midnight, when the clock switches over, it then records the following date. And what I've said is where the primary column is today, then it records the date. So if I come out of here um, on that bit, ultimately this triggers at that time. Um, I can actually get it to run now on this bit and trigger on specific row, on row one, for example, run workflow, and that will have done. If I go back to the sheet now, you can see this should be running. There we go, it's updated and it's 12 days. 12 days to the event. If I now save the sheet and go back to the dashboard, and refresh, I'll just wait, it might trigger automatically, but if it hasn't, so let me just refresh this piece. And what you'll see now is coming up on the dashboard, as it comes through, it should say 12 days to the event. So this is fantastic because it means every day on our website, now clearly within websites, you can have much more fancy countdown timers to the minute, etc. But if you've got a dashboard that you're using for other purposes, then you might want to actually just have a countdown time until the next day before a meeting or between an event or between the project launch or something like that. So again, it's a fun way of including a countdown on your uh, dashboards that you might use within the business. All very simple to do just by having that countdown date and just saying how many days into the event, a simple formula saying today's date um, and then the date of the event It's doing a little bit of maths and there we go. A little fun trick, and I thought I'd just share that with you in case it's of use to people um, for their own dashboards. So, hope you enjoyed that bit, and more things to follow. Bye for now.